Hey guys, this is our wad breakdown for the day. 10 minutes of rolling as usual. Then we're gonna do seven minutes of cardio. Gonna throw in a little bit more cardio today just to help you continue to work on that 10 minute thing we started talking about the other day. Um, you can sneak this in, make it seven minutes, or you can extend that and make this your 10 minutes for the day. Um, or you can do that again some other time. But the idea is to get in ten, seven minutes of low intensity cardio. Then we're gonna do 10 wrist circles. So what you're gonna do is get down on your hands and knees Get your fingers pointing straight away from you. <clears throat> You're gonna lean your chest and shoulders towards your fingertips, and you need to keep your arms straight. You're gonna work side to side as if you're aiming from your pinky to the other hand pinky, back and forth 10 times. Then flip your hands around backwards. Same thing, you lean towards the tip of your fingers. Just keep your hands flat and then work side to side just to open up all the muscles in the hands and in your wrist. So after you've done 10 on each side, then you're gonna do a standing split stretch. So on that one, you're gonna widen your feet out, bend down to the front, lean to one side, hold for 30, go to the other side for 30, and then go to the middle for the last 30. Once you're done there, you're gonna do 10 air squats. That's just body weight squatting up and down for 10 reps. And then you're gonna work on your EMOM. And for our EMOM on Fridays, <clears throat> we are going to do the front squat. So you're gonna take these dumbbells, hold it up in this front rack position, and you're gonna work on squatting and standing back up. The goal here for this month is to try and work on staying upright. Try not to let yourself bend over as much. So keep your head, chest, and shoulders up. Send your hips down right behind your heels and stand it back up. You're gonna do six reps every minute. You're gonna do 10 rounds of that. You're gonna record whatever your um, heaviest weight is on those 10 rounds. Anyway, after that, you're gonna jump into the main workout, which is 10 rounds. And the way this one works is you're gonna do seven reps of four different movements. We're gonna do a little upper body work today. So you're gonna start with curls. You can do the hammer curl, which means the dumbbells are vertical. You can do a supinated curl, which means the hands face up, the palms face up. Or you can do supinating, which means as you come up, you go from hammer to the supinated position and then rotate back down. If I were doing this today, I would just switch back and forth between those three so I get a little bit of all of it. So seven curls, then you're gonna go seven bent over row. One, two, I personally would use heavier weights on this one because it's a stronger group of muscles than I would on the curls and the kickbacks. I would do a little lighter for those. The kickback is in the same position, but you're extending your arms back. Bring them back down to here. Make sure the elbow stays high. Kick it back, bring it down, kick it back, bring it down. Seven reps there. Then you'll lay on the ground, do seven sit-ups. Normal standard sit-up, sit back, touch over your head, sit up, touch your toes. Make sure your spine's vertical when you sit all the way up. You're gonna do 10 rounds of that. Check your time, that's your score. Have a good one, we'll see you guys on the next one.